Well, howdy again everyone. My name's Chris and today I'm taking a look at a very exciting new lens for full frame cameras, the Sigma 24mm f1.4 Art. Lenses that combine such a very wide angle and very wide maximum aperture are useful, creative and fun, and also very difficult for lens manufacturers to design. And so, this lens carries a price tag of around £700 or $850 US dollars, but that's still a lot less than Canon or Nikon's equivalent lenses. On a full frame camera, 24mm is a very wide angle which dramatically pushes back your subject and gives you corners that look just slightly stretched. It's especially popular with wedding photographers or anyone who needs a big field of view without quite going into ultra-wide angle territory. If you're using an APS-C camera, then you'll get an angle of about 38mm. That's still a reasonably wide angle, but you do get more emphasis on your subject. It's a perfect focal length for general purpose shooting. You could fix this lens to an APS-C camera for a perfect walk-around lens. I'd say that the 24mm focal length has even more appeal on an APS-C camera than full frame. And of course, this 24mm lens's biggest selling point is its extremely wide maximum aperture of f1.4. This means it can let in a huge amount of light which is useful for shooting indoors or in the dark. f1.4 can also give you impressively out of focus backgrounds, especially for such a wide angle field of view. A 24mm f1.4 lens can give you really striking images, whatever kind of camera you're using. And so, let's take a look at Sigma's new offering. This lens is slightly big and heavy, being jam-packed with 15 glass elements. Typically, for one of Sigma's art lenses, it feels extremely solid and tightly put together. It's based on a brass lens mount, although there's no extra weather sealing here. The lens is dominated by a large, rubberized focus ring, which turns about 90 degrees, so that's just about precise enough. The ring itself turns extremely smoothly and not too heavily, and there is full-time manual focusing, so you can adjust the focus at any time. The front element with its 77mm filter thread does not turn or extend as you change focus. The lens's autofocus motor works silently, but not very quickly. But really, that's fast enough for most users, it's just not quite as fast as one of Canon's lenses. It works quite accurately, though. It comes with a nicely designed lens hood with a rubber trim at the bottom, and one of Sigma's handy lens pouches. Overall, the lens is very well made indeed, and it's a pleasure to use just like Sigma's other art lenses. OK, let's look at its image quality. Sigma have been producing some very sharp lenses recently, but as I mentioned before, this particular kind of wide-angle, fast aperture lens is very challenging for manufacturers to design. Let's see what it can do by testing it on a full-frame camera, a 20-megapixel Canon 6D. At f1.4, in the middle of the image, the lens is astonishingly sharp, with slightly warm colours and fantastic contrast levels. That's a great result. Let's see about the corners. The edges of the image look, noticeably, a little soft and quite dark, but the picture quality is still just about usable, and no chromatic aberration is really visible. So it's not great, but that's a performance which is on par for this kind of lens. Let's top the aperture down to f2. There's more brightness in those corners and a touch more sharpness. Let's top down to f2.8 for quite good resolution there, and at f4 and f5.6, the corners look about as sharp as you could ask for. Back in the middle of the image, the picture is still ridiculously sharp. So, the corners might not be as sharp as you'd get with Sigma's other f1.4 lenses. But that's to be expected, a 24mm lens is much harder to make. Most people will only really be interested in how the lens performs in the middle of the image, and there, the Sigma is mighty indeed. The contrast levels are particularly impressive. Overall, that's a very good performance on a full-frame camera. Let's see how the lens copes when attached to an APS-C camera. In this case, my trusty old Canon 60D, 
with its 18 megapixel sensor. At f1.4 in the middle of the image, again, the lens is very sharp indeed with very good contrast levels. Nice. One issue is that you can see hints of color fringing on contrasting edges. You can just about see it on the number 2 and on the window frame here. It's not really a big deal though. Let's take a look in the corners. They look a little softer, but actually, the corners are not too bad. That's a nice bright image for a lens at f1.4. The green and magenta chromatic aberration is a little more noticeable here, though. Stop down to f2, and the lens gets a little sharper, and stop down to f4 or f5.6 for very sharp corners. That colour fringing seems to have been beaten back a little, too. Back in the middle of the image, picture quality is crazy sharp, and there's no colour fringing at this narrower aperture. So, on an APS-C camera, this lens produces a very tidy performance indeed. It's nice and sharp, with good contrast levels. The corners are nice and bright, although that is a normal added bonus of using a full-frame camera lens on a crop sensor camera. The slightly notable chromatic aberration at wider apertures is a shame, but I think Sigma just about get away with it. Great performance. Let's take a look at distortion and vignetting on a full-frame camera. There's good news and there's bad news. The good news is that the lens only shows a little barrel distortion, which is great to see for an angle as wide as 24mm. The bad news is that, at f1.4, we see rather extreme levels of vignetting. Those corners look very dark indeed, and that will be very noticeable in your pictures, if you're shooting on a full-frame camera. Stop down to f2 for a good improvement, and at f2.8 we see quite even illumination across the image frame. Those kind of vignetting levels are disappointing, but they're also completely normal for this kind of fast, wide-angle lens, so we can't complain too much. The lens can focus as closely as 25cm, which is about normal among fast 24mm lenses. Still, that's very nice and close, and it enables you to get some quite creative pictures. The close-up picture quality, as you can see here, is pretty sharp straight from f1.4. There are tiny improvements in sharpness at f2 and at f2.8, where we also see a little more contrast. One area where the lens doesn't particularly impress is when shooting against bright lights. We see some pretty noticeable and complex flaring, and a loss in contrast too. Better to use the free lens hood when you're shooting. Finally, let's see about the quality of this lens's bokeh. At f1.4 you can get some impressively out of focus backgrounds for such a wide angle lens. When it comes to the quality of this lens's out of focus backgrounds, it has a bit of a split personality. When your background is deeply out of focus, the bokeh looks fantastically smooth. Quite beautiful, really. However, when your subject is further away, the backgrounds can look a tiny bit edgy. It's nothing too bad, though. I'd say that, for a fast wide-angle lens, it's a comparatively good show. Overall, while the Sigma 24mm f1.4 art lens didn't quite blow me away as much as their 35 and 50mm lenses, it's still a very convincing piece of equipment indeed that represents very good value for money. The build quality is great and the optics are very sharp and punchy indeed, at least in the middle of your images. I'm especially pleased that the lens shows so little distortion. The dark corners on a full-frame camera are admittedly very disturbing, but that can be corrected in editing, and it's just a typical problem for this kind of lens. On an APS-C camera, this lens really has no problems at all. I'd say that this is probably the best walk-around prime lens you could get if you're using APS-C. Sigma should be proud of putting out yet another fantastic piece of equipment at a considerably lower price point than Canon and Nikon, whose own lenses are no better really. Whether you use full frame or APS-C, the Sigma 24mm f1.4 is a very enjoyable professional tool, which comes highly recommended.